so my whole life I grew up hearing my grandma tell stories about Kayo and her friends in Kayo, and I knew that she was still really close with her friends there. And then when it came time for me to go to college, I was like, eh, you know, that's a great Nana, but I don't think that's for me. And then I ended up going through recruitment, and I'm looking forward to the relationships that I'll have with these girls for the rest of my life. My favorite memory coming in general was last year at a recruitment practice. Um, I Just in my life I had hit absolute rock bottom and I had all my sisters around and I felt vulnerable enough to talk about it. And after I was over crying and everything without like even a glitch everyone like got in a circle and prayed for me. And I think at that time I realized like I just joined something that I don't think I could have got anywhere else. Like who just stands up and prays for you kind of thing. And so. My heart was full and I just knew I was full. I think when people ask me why I love Kayo, I automatically think of the friendships that I've made. Because growing up I'd never had the tight tight friend group and um, that's definitely something I was looking for but it outdid itself way more than I thought and um, from raiding each other's closets and crying on each other's shoulders when we have a bad day and going from a dorm roommate to living with three other sisters it's a, I live a dream come true every day just because I found the friends that are going to be beside me on my wedding day and my birthday parties and celebrating with me all the time um, they pick me up when I fall so I'm very lucky but just because the friendships that I made in Kamega. When I joined Chi Omega, I had an instant connection with my sisters and I was really excited and they brought me to church and I ended up getting baptized from that whole entire experience. So they're not only my sisters in Chi Omega, but also through Christ. My sister actually was a Chi here at WT. She signed me up and she was like, if you don't show up on the first day, you're not my sister anymore. So I showed up the first day and I was just like, oh, like, I really, really like these girls. Every night it got different and different. And then the last night I just felt like this overwhelming feeling, like this is where I need to be, this is where I belong. And ever since then, Kyle Mika has been my home. So coming to West Texas A&M, I was worried about college life and balancing my grades along with sorority, so I didn't know if sorority life was for me, but luckily after joining the Sisterhood of Kyle Mega, I've been blessed and I've been able to keep up my grades and it's actually promoted um, a better performance in the classroom. Coming into college, I really wanted to be involved with community service events and stuff like that. And so with Kyle Omega, they're big partners with Make-A-Wish, and so I really wanted to be involved with that. And through Kyle Omega, I've been able to become a wish grantor, and that's so near and dear to my heart because I'm able to grant little kids wishes that I never thought I could ever do by myself. And that's why I love Kyle. That's exactly what the sisterhood is, is your family and they'll do anything for you and they're always going to be there for you.